Hello, I'm Lucy Hawkins. Welcome to BBC News Now. Three hours of fast-moving news, interviews and reaction. We start with breaking news from Israel. We are getting reports of a suspected car ramming and a stabbing attack in Tel Aviv. At least four people have been injured. A medical official has said a suspected attacker has been shot dead as well. So that breaking news, there has been a car ramming in Tel Aviv. At least four people have been injured. The attacker has been shot dead. But all of this coming, as Israel says, its military operation at the refugee camp in the occupied West Bank city of Jenin is almost complete. Palestinian officials saying about 3,000 people have fled their homes in the camp after Israeli troops moved in on Monday. Israel says its troops conducted an extensive counter-terrorism effort. Palestinian leaders condemning the assault as a new war crime. They say 10 Palestinians have been killed. Let's talk to Anna Foster, our correspondent, who is at the Israeli West Bank barrier for us now. Firstly, Anna, I appreciate you're not there, but what is the latest that you're hearing of this car ramming in Tel Aviv? Well, we've seen some, some graphic pictures from the streets of Tel Aviv. As you said, it appears at the moment, certainly the ambulance service have said that four people have been injured. All seem to have survived the initial ramming attack. And again, you talked about the assailant who we were told has been shot. And again, graphic pictures would seem to suggest that that assailant has been shot and killed. And as you said, this all happens against the background of the Israeli military operation, which started yesterday morning here in Janine. As you said, this is the, the West. West Bank barrier, if you like. It's the line between Israel and the West Bank. And if you just look across here, that is Janine, and in particular Janine camp. Even in the last hour or so, we've been seeing plumes of smoke rising still from the camp, some, some smaller plumes of white smoke. At one point, a very large plume of grey smoke rising into the air and visible for several minutes. Now, uh, the Israeli National Security Advisor uh, gave um, an interview this morning to an Israeli radio station saying that they thought that the Israeli Defence Forces were close to achieving their aims from this operation, where they went in yesterday morning, they talked about dismantling uh, infrastructure from Palestinian militants inside the camp. They talked about finding caches of weapons in there. And in fact, we've seen just where we are here on the line between the two. We have seen troops. We're only about five kilometers away. You can see how close we are to Janine. We've seen troops coming out of there. And in fact, I just want to show you along this line. You'll notice that uh, this is behind us, a, a military zone. And you might be able to see just over here some of the bulldozers, which we've seen pictures of on the streets of Janine in the last 24 hours or so. Uh, we also had reports that those bulldozers had really ripped up the roads in some places, which is making it very difficult for medical attention to get to some of those wounded. More than 100 wounded, we're told, 10 Palestinians killed so far. And this military operation continues inside Janine. Anna, what has been the impact on Palestinians who live in Janine? Well, it's extraordinarily difficult at a time like this to, to work out really the, the civilian toll in particular, because when an operation like this is launched, very often electricity is cut to the area. Uh, things like communications are also cut as well. So what we've been seeing are, are pictures from our BBC camera colleagues, also pictures on, on social media of what has been going on inside the camp. But it's such a densely populated area. Many thousands of civilians living not just in this town, but in specifically that that refugee camp with its very narrow streets. And you're right to talk about the civilian impact. And in fact, that's something that has been picked up not just by, by NGOs who work in there, um, the UN agency who looks after Palestinian refugees, they have expressed their concern about the civilians in the area. Also, MSF, Médecins Sans Frontières, they have said that they have worries about actually people being able to get to and treat the wounded. We know that tear gas was used outside uh, a medical facility this morning where people who were wounded were being treated. And in fact, even the US yesterday, while it said that it, it supported Israel's right to defend itself against terrorist groups, it also cautioned against anything that would put the civilian population in this camp at further risk. Anna, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. We have live pictures coming to us actually at the moment, just in the past few seconds or, go or so of Tel Aviv. Let's just show you those. Uh, this is the scene of that car ramming, that attack that has just happened in the past half hour or so in Tel Aviv. Uh, we're getting different numbers coming on the agencies uh, and from eyewitness accounts 
at the scene, but we understand five people have been injured by a car. Uh, local media reporting the suspected attacker was shot and killed. And actually, uh, the Israeli police have just been speaking to Israel's army radio, and they said the motorist responsible for this car ramming into a big crowd in Tel Aviv, uh, the phrase they used was neutralized at the scene by a civilian first responder. So uh, that is the latest that we're hearing from Israel's army radio. Uh, and we now know as well from the medical services, Israel's medical services, that four people were injured. And uh, one of those is in a serious condition, we now understand, from the medical services. A 46-year-old woman has multiple injuries. Two people are in a moderate condition. One person is in a mild condition. And you can see the police are at the scene there in Tel Aviv continuing their investigations. But it is being reported, as I mentioned, that the alleged attacker was shot and killed at the scene. So there we have it, live pictures from Tel Aviv coming to us of this car ramming that has just happened uh, with four people injured. A 46-year-old woman has multiple injuries, so she is in a serious condition, we understand.